Today we are going to uh, open the first big package for the BeTrue 3D printer. But uh, before I continue, <coughs> you have to excuse my voice. I have a severe thought or sore throat <coughs> and can't speak that well. So, um, but we'll see. <coughs> they shipped this from Hong Kong just two days ago, and uh, it's already in Denmark now. That's, that's fast. So, let's see the goodies. <coughs> so, <coughs> first up here is a lot of heat shrink. I need it. I'm not going to use this much, obviously. 100 meters. Here we see the this is sliders for the eight millimeter ruts. There are four normal ones here, and uh, here are the big twelve millimeter sliders. See bushings. I'll I'll open it up inside a bit later. And uh, anchoring for the 60mm, I think, or is it 12? I can't see. A lot of M5 screws to fixing everything together. <coughs> oh, 10 meters of belts, that's nice. Here's yeah, some of the good stuff. Hey. See, look at that. Two very nice ball bearing bespoke screws. So going to love using these. <coughs> you see here the wires for the motors. Um, I guess that's small screw and spacer for the motor. Here's the flank bearings for the set axis 16mm. These are the non-long version. So, I actually bought the long version first and then uh, we decided so now I have some spare parts I guess most of you have tried the same some uh, 12 millimeter long M5 screws <coughs> there's a lot of T and L brackets and you might want to buy by or this much but it's because I plan to make a lid on the printer uh, at a later stage, a uh, lot of metal corners made of aluminum. It didn't really cost a lot, so a lot of the price from Hong Kong is actually the ship here. But uh, Robotic were kind enough to actually pay for my shipping, so they paid for. the uh, DSL Express shipping to uh, make sure I got it before the holiday. That's, uh, that's just enormously nice. Yeah, I, I'll open this because of this one. I've never worked with the ball screws before and this is a BF10 module just used to fix the top of the ball screw like this. So. And uh, <coughs> these are idler posts. <coughs> and lots of lots of T nuts. These are used to to screw things onto the aluminium and uh, extrusions. Uh, two solid state relays, uh, DC to AC. I'm only going to use one, but uh, it's nice to have a spare one. 
That's the other BF10 module. <coughs> Goodie bags. Oh, lots of. That's M3 screws. Lots of those. Um, padding. More padding. Oh, I guess these are motors. I'm civilized. I use a scissor. <laughs> oh. See, I've never used this before. Two hollow motors. <clears throat> I'll show you what they're for in a bit. This is a, a new motor for one of my other machines because uh, I wanted to get rid of the cobbler uh, I had on that one. So let's uh, let's see uh, what we have here. All the TNL brackets. I just going to be nice. Yeah, it's more a little cut. <coughs> See? Wee. <laughs> That's hard to get right. 